back to our brand new Saturday night right here. That's what I'm talking about. Alrighty, anyways guys, welcome back to Saturday night. This is not a cute cut or anything. This actually is a picture. I'm going to be talking about this later. You guys. So we're going to hold on to that for now. But anyways, to game news, of course, we have some very interesting and exciting news. PlayStation literally pretty much told everybody the whole world what their next handheld is going to be. Oh, so stupid, right? Because they literally tried taking out everything else today. It's gone. IGN's video is gone. Hello? <laughs> now, maybe Rooster Teeth or our media sites try taking it down, but I literally looked it up, like different websites, and like, I don't see anything that has anything about this, this handheld anymore. I had a hard time finding this picture. That's the sad part. I had a hard time. It's not fair. Make it easy, people. <laughs> um, but, anyways, so, the way I see it is that Sony shouldn't get pissed off on Nintendo because of what they announced and showed, right? Because maybe this that was their idea as well. Like, some people can have the same ideas, but, you know, different ways of looking at it. And Sony did, was looking at a different way, because, of course, they want a handheld, um... Like, for their own way, pretty much like, you know, have the two controllers, sort of like that. Um, but it's a handheld itself. It's not connected to a console. It doesn't go with a console. Nothing. So, I like, like, what they're trying to do. But the way I see it is, like, don't get pissed off at Nintendo because the, it's it's literally its own console. Like, that thing is a console. No matter what. You can't, you can't just be like, I took our idea! For a handheld, yo, freak off, uh, you know, like, don't don't get mad and then go, shit, we shouldn't have said that, no, we post that picture, we didn't mean to, no, and then try to, like, take it off immediately, like, I don't know, like, if it was a couple of hours after or whatever, but, like, literally, don't, don't, it's your fault, Sony, I'm not, not, literally, it's nobody else's fault, <laughs> it really is your fault, you're, you're the one that said, was trying to put proof out there, that is your idea, Blah, 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 all that shit. And then all of a sudden you went, shit, we weren't supposed to show the public this picture. Why did we do that? Oh, no. So, whose fault is it? It's really technically yours. Not the people watching this, but your Sony. Yours. Bad Sony. Bad. Shame on you. Shame on you for, for leaking those pictures. So now we all know what the next handheld is going to be. Thank you for that. Uh... <laughs> Anyway, so Crash and Sang Trilogy is coming out June 30th. They put a trailer out recently, so you guys can go see that trailer and, and watch Crash run and hurt himself in the trailer for no stupid reason. <laughs> so, I'm excited for that because I never got to play 2 and 3. I got to play the first one, but I never got to play 2 and 3. So, this is like a really good advantage for me to play the, the whole trilogy. Uh, Pokemon Go has got an update on new Pokemon for gold and silver. Yeah, so you can play with your Cindy Quill, uh, Tortodile, and I can't remember the grass type. Is it Ch Cheek? No, it's not Chica. Something like that. I can't remember. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Pokemon. <laughs> you grass. Good Pokemon, you. <laughs> Oh, man. Anyway, so that's pretty much it for game news. That was literally it. There wasn't really much to talk about for that. So, yeah. So, anyways, we're going to move on. Um, literally, this today's actually a really special day, uh, actually, for for my family. Because today today is me father's birthday. Me papa. Me papa. Father. Or Faja. Faja's birthday. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So... Uh, we did already a little bit of celebration last night, uh, since not everybody's going to be here. But uh, we're definitely going to be celebrating a little more tonight. So if the videos are a little late tomorrow, I do apologize on that. I'm I'm trying to get all this done before uh, we start celebrating all tonight. So, um, But anyways, uh, the next thing is actually stereotypes in Canada. Now, the reason I'm talking about this now, I know this has already been talked about probably years on end years years on end everybody years so many years so um the reason i'm talking about is because someone had a license plate that just said a with a space or something and then something else um 
I thought it was interesting because when I saw that, I'm like, really? The first thing you know, mind was about this stereotype stuff. Why we say A? Literally, I, it's rare to find someone that says A nowadays, okay? Nobody says A anymore in Canada. Just point that out to everybody. Everybody's, pretty much now everybody just goes, hey, how's it going? Um, what's up? I don't know. And, like, like I, I really don't know any other... Things. Or I just go, hey! Like, that's pretty much it. But I'm saying, hey, with, and then extending, hey. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but really, I I don't hear anyone go, hey, anymore. Unless people are trying to be, are trying to joke around with stereotypes. Um, and another one, uh, as well, that uh, people also think that we say it too, which is a boot. Why the frick do we say a boot? Maybe it's, uh, I'm not going to lie, it does, it would sound something like, if we had an accent of some sort, like Canada's, like, I can understand, but, uh, I, but maybe Canada just, just play along with it, like, we're, we're trying to make out weird words, China and Japan speak different, same with Europe countries, we want our own language too, <laughs> what should we do, everybody? Change the word about to a boot. Good enough. Put that in the history books. <laughs> we change one word. We're good. We're good. <laughs> That's all we needed. We didn't have to change anything else. Good enough. <laughs> so. Oh, man. But no. No one says a boot anymore. And maybe people did years ago. But this century... God almighty, no. <laughs> no. If I heard someone go, how, how about you today? I've been, I'd be like, what? Excuse me? I'm not wearing boots. If I was, I'd be saying thanks for the compliment. <laughs> but I am not. <laughs> so that is your fault, sir. Um, yeah, I don't really get the whole meaning of a boot. I understand A, like, you know, maybe someone went, hey, how's it going, A, and then, so they're like, oh my god, that's the greatest word for kid, like, yeah, awesome, put it in the books, <laughs> um, but I don't know where they got that boot, still don't understand where they got that, I could probably look it up, figure out why, but, uh, I don't feel like it, I just, I just think it's just stupid enough just knowing that we say that back in the day, it's just, that's all I gotta say. Um, anyways, the last thing, uh, for what's happening this week is, well, actually not happening this week, but Monday is actually a holiday for Canada. Yes, that's right. So, uh, if you guys want to, you know, come to Canada, spend a holiday with us, everybody. Come join us in Canada, where we have holidays for everybody. <laughs> that should be a slogan for Canada. <laughs> we have holidays for you, too. <laughs> As long as it's the holidays that we celebrate the same day, you are good. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, if you guys are celebrating uh, a holiday on Monday too, literally have fun, have a great time. It's like, literally, um, enjoy it. Enjoy it while it lasts because I find holidays are too short nowadays. God, why does it feel like it was so long as a child? But I understand that our, our brain spans of timing is different from a kid to adult i understand but still kind of want to have that back please bring that back my mind can't handle the thing it's too fast for me people uh <coughs> excuse me um but anyways the movies for the weekend yes the great wall is out so if you want to go see about the great wall of china go see this movie I'm seeing it Monday. Yes, and if you're wondering how I can see it on a Monday on a holiday, because movies are open um, at night. So, there's there's your answer. Yeah, movies open at night. Um, there are places that are open, mostly Tim Hortons. Sorry to tell that to people, but coffee. Coffee's number one in Canada. We don't have coffee open. There is chaos, and it'd be all over the news. <laughs> All around the world that Canada is literally destroying itself because Timmy's ain't open. 
no coffee, nothing left for this country. <laughs> so, so yeah, so th there, there's your game plan. So if you if you want to take over Canada, just get rid of coffee in our country, and we'll surrender to you immediately. We'll be like, give us the coffee, coffee. I love me my coffee. Yeah, I like coffee too. <laughs> so. That's why I make coffee here, because it, it, at least I have access to coffee somehow. Um, but, <laughs> anyways, it, it, Grey Wall is, is supposed to look, it looks like a good movie. Uh, apparently, my someone, uh, my dad was telling me said it was a good movie. So, I'm definitely going to go see it. Um, but, anyways, the last one is called Fist Fight. Now, this is a comedy movie about two guys that are teachers that are going to fight it out together. Oh, yeah, he's going to bring the fight. Except one's a little coward. He doesn't know how to fight, so he's scared. And he asks for forgiveness to the other guy. Well, the other guy goes, No, sir, Red Papa, we're going to fight this out one way or another. So, yeah, that, that's Fist Fight. If you guys want to go see that movie, go see it. All right. Um, but anyways, the last thing... Um, I'll have to talk about this real quick, but anyways, this picture right here, um, I actually was laying down because my back, well, this side, behind my back, um, was actually a little, just, it was a little sore, so I thought I'd lay down for just a couple minutes, see if my back feels a little bit better, but anyways, uh, I saw this on the corner of my eye, and I picked it up, and uh, this is actually an old picture, literally, um, this is a picture that my dad got when I was like three years old, yeah. And uh, it's from Doug Smith. Uh, he was a forward number 15 for Buffalo Sabres. So if you guys remember Dal uh, Doug, I don't know why I was going to say Dallas Smith. He's a country singer, but Doug Smith, um, if you guys do remember him, uh, yeah, so he's he's the one that signed this, actually, uh, down at the bottom. And uh, it says, to Jason, uh, break breakthrough adversity to reach your goals. And, uh, why, why would I be showing you guys this, for one? Well, one, this is history of mine <laughs> that I got. And, uh, two, I like what it says. I really like what it says about reaching, breaking through, breaking through those walls and getting to those goals. And, and I kind of thought about it. Like, I've been thinking about this for at least two months now. Um, of wanting to see, thinking of going to VidCon. Like, you know, um... Because I hear a lot of stories about people going down towards that way. And then somehow they ended up getting a career of YouTube. Um, and, well, like, not everybody ended up getting a career for YouTube. But I I just thought, like, you know, since that's the main source for YouTube. And that, um, I definitely thought maybe I should try that out. Maybe that might help me out. I don't know. But, hey, a lot of people say when you see an opportunity, you got to take the door and just go to it. Take it. Take it or or miss it. So um, I thought maybe I might go to it. I'm still discussing over it right now with myself. Um, but I will say this though: I really hope that uh, someone, who, like pretty much one of my buddies, it would be really nice to see if my uh, if I had a buddy of mine who came with me um, to like if something happens, I I rather have a buddy there to literally. Um, uh, what's the word? To, to pretty much show my, like, how exciting, and, and I would like to celebrate that with one of my buddies if I can. So hopefully, like, you know, um, if they do, if they do want to come down, I would love it. Definitely would love to go down with someone. So, um, so if you're one of my buddies that lives around here, don't forget to holler at me. It's not that hard. But also, too, if you guys are around that area or or are going to VidCon, literally, having support is definitely something big to me. Like, I appreciate it a lot. Because um, around here, I it's, it's really hard to see support. <laughs> really hard. Like, literally, no joke. It's, it's really hard to see the support for me um, real badly. So, um... But yeah, if you guys are going, then definitely look for me and support me and, and all that. Because that would be, that would definitely be awesome. That's all I'm going to say. So, But it's not confirmed of me going to VidCon yet. I'm still trying to see if I can try to get there somehow. And uh, we'll see how things go. 
So, anyways, that's pretty much it. And just like this card, follow your dreams, everybody. That is the sponsor for today, is following dreams. Uh, <laughs> there's no sponsor on this show. When the free has there ever been a sponsor? Um, but anyways, guys, hope you guys are watching the video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed what is going on on this Saturday night, hit that like button, subscribe for more Saturday nights, and I will see you, of course, in the next video. Peace out, everybody!